<clears throat> We're here at Harry Harris Shoe Store for children on Cannon Drive in Beverly Hills. And I'm sitting here with second generation Andy Harris, whose father Her was Harry Harris. Mm. And Andy, how long have you been involved in the store? I've been involved in the store for 37 years now and uh, started working with my mom and dad at that time and enjoyed it and had a wonderful time ever since. Unfortunately, both passed away, uh, dad in 1991, my mom in 2010, but uh, had a wonderful time working with the family. That's great. And had you always wanted to go into the shoe business? Well, the shoe business was something that was uh, a family business and even as a, a little little boy, 10, 12 years old, I'd always blow with the balloons and I would, I would come in and visit with the, with the customers and it was always with mom and dad, we're very family orientated, so it was something that was probably meant to be. That's so rare that a, you wouldn't have any disagreements in your business was, end of it. It was such a pleasure working with my parents and I say that to people who take over their family businesses now that it's just such a blessing you'll see. And if they start to have a disagreement, <laughs> yeah. I say, just listen and learn and take in what they're teaching you because they're obviously doing something right. They've been here for so long. Now that you can add and evolve it, listen to what, what they have to say. And don't be so quick in, in, in determining that they might be wrong or something because you have a different opinion. Now, how did your dad get started? He started actually uh, in 1962, this store. In 1949, he worked across the street with Children's Brewery and then opened up this store in 1962. Uh, started in the shoe business uh, out of necessity. He played uh, football and baseball at UCLA and got drafted by the Detroit Tigers. But at that time, they didn't earn a lot of salary, so he needed a, a job to help support the family. He was in charge of supporting the family. And again, baseball didn't pay anything, so he stayed in the shoe business and history from there. Well, it's our benefit that he stayed in the business. Now, what are some of the changes you've seen in the locale here? Uh, the mom and pop stores have disappeared and used to be here. There's more corporate stores, more mall type stores, but still in between all the corporation, you see the mom and pop stores. And clothing stores, uh, service stores, some shoe stores. Uh, it, it's nice to see because you like that village type feeling that Beverly Hills used to have. And do you remember when it, uh, it, everyone was on a first name basis, all the proprietors with their customers? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, we'd have dinner with everybody all the time too. We'd all meet and walk around on Saturday night and on Rodale and see each other on Beverly Drive and get an ice cream with 31 flavors. We, we would get their clothes at Rudnick's across the street, go to Nate and Al's for, for, for deli, Nibbler's for a Sunday. It was wonderful. Was the parking always like this? Parking was always a little bit difficult, uh, especially on Cannon, because you have about 17, 18 beauty shops. So sometimes the parking can be a little bit difficult, especially on Saturdays. But Mondays it's easy, uh, because all the beauty shops were closed. So that was an old joke and tradition that you come shopping in Beverly Hills on Mondays because all the beauty shops were closed. Now I'm sure by the time you were here, the diagonal parking was no longer there. The Diagonal Parking was still here. They changed it, uh, I think it was about 35 years ago. That's changed a little bit. They widened the sidewalks. They, they narrowed the streets a little bit. But Beverly Hills is still a small town. It, it, it's not a, a big, touristy, corporate-type atmosphere that everyone in the world thinks it is. If you, if you travel the streets and, and you walk the streets, it's still a small town. All my children have gone here, and now my grandchildren are going to Harry Harris Shoes. So it's a tradition that keeps going and going. There you go. Great. Right. And what about some of the landmarks around the city? Have you seen changes in those? Well, they keep adding to some of the landmarks, but I mean, the landmarks here in Beverly Hills, as far as the business district, are, are the stores themselves, stores like Nate Now's, Carolyn Company. Uh, some of the rest of the dinner for so long, La Scala. Those are kind of the landmarks that we remember as children. Some that have gone, like Nibblers. Newberries, unfortunately, Rudnecks that we used to be here, Premier Market, Food Giant, all these type of, of small type stores that, that service the area have gone, which is a shame, but that's progress and 
and nothing you can do about it. You have to evolve with the times and then just accept what there is. I remember when I was a kid, we used to go to Newberry's, as you said, and sit at the counter. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that's right, and Nibbler's with their Sundays. Right. But then we'd have Marty. And MFK. It's a bond with Teller. Or Obama Teller Department sort of speak. Right. Where the train tracks were. Right, 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 right. You know, my kids used to put pennies on the track and the next morning we'd come and see if they were flattened. Oh, that's great. The only delivery was to the Wonder Bread factory. Yes, yes. And when Wonder Bread went out, that's right. the trains no longer had a purpose. Oh, remember the snow of the Wonder Bread factory. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Beverly Theater had premieres, too. Uh, you know, to me, the stars were just people that came in the stores. I mean, that's why they were just regular people, just going to the movies and everybody took pictures of them. We couldn't understand why. What about some of your famous customers? Uh, we've had a lot of them. We've had uh, the Sinatras. We've had Ella Fitzgerald's been here. Let's see, uh, Vidal Sassoon was telling a story where uh, he had brought his grandchild in here and started crying because he was so excited because he had brought Eden, his daughter, in here. We've had Henry Winkler that came dressed up as the Fonz when he'd bring his kids in here. Chevy Chase would trip over the stools as entertainment. I'd go in the office and I'd see Buddy Hackett and Bob Newhart talking with my father. Eartha Kitt would be here all the time. It was a, it was a regular hangout for people. You had a, a regular show going here. You grew up in the area, but you did not go to Beverly Hills schools. I did grow up in the area. Uh, lived on Camden, but I went to Hamilton for athletic reasons. Uh, I almost went to Beverly or Palisades and and uni, Fairfax, but uh, decided to go to Hamilton for athletic reasons. So, uh, but all your friends were around here. We had a lot of friends that went to the Beverly High and then some went to other schools too growing up here and I spent most of my time from nine years old on at the Beverly Hills Y. I would stay there from nine o'clock until six o'clock at night till they kicked us out. We had a great time. Unfortunately, that's no longer there, but uh, it's, it was just such a wonderful place to grow up in. It was uh, fantastic. All the the leadership and, and, and again the basketball athletics and the camps that used to run through the Beverly Hills Y was, was a joy to be with. And the swim classes. The swim classes, absolutely. Dance absolutely. classes, yeah. that's where my kids went. Yeah. The store is a very happy looking store. You have a very famous designer that helped you. Well, Marilyn, yes, yes. she. Uh, Marilyn. Mar I'm sorry, Marilyn Goldman uh, helped us uh, design the store probably uh, Oh gosh, we're going back uh, quite a ways. She was friends with my parents, uh, the city council members, as you know, all become mayors at one time. And uh, Willie, I think, is the mayor right now, or, or just well, just was. He used to come here all the time. We grew up together. Uh, wonderful guy, but yeah, no, uh, yeah, we've had uh, quite experience in here. So she decided where the seats should be? She and... decided the colors of the seats, the type of seats, what people would like to, to sit in forever and ever because she wanted us to remain the same way forever and ever, updating carpets and color and, 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 and wall treatments possibly, but she wanted the actual bones of the store to stay the same that everyone would recognize so when they come in here with their second and third generations, they'd have a nostalgia type feeling that uh, it's home. made them feel home. I think really the achievement of keeping Beverly Hills a small town village type atmosphere is its biggest achievement because what happens a lot of times over, over a period and evolving is it loses its character. But if you really look at Beverly Hills in between the lines, it's still a small town. People know each other. All the vendors and all the retailers on the block still know each other. We're very friendly with one another, help each other. The customers come in, it's all neighborhood. Uh, you have a lot of tourists, which is nice, but you still have a lot of neighborhood people also that come in. Bringing their children yeah, and their grandchildren. Absolutely right, and, and getting the Harry Harris famous balloons that we've been known for forever. What do you see, what do you see as the future in, well, in the city? That they provide parking for people to come into the city to enjoy it. That they provide cultural events that the residents, neighbors, and tourists can enjoy but they keep it a small time atmosphere where, where people feel wanted and, and, and connected to one another in some way. If you can't get into Beverly Hills, you can't shop, walk, or visit Beverly Hills. So parking is a big issue for all of us, not only the retailers, but for the residents and the visitors also. Because if you come once but find it difficult to get in, 
you don't want to come again. You want to go where it's a little bit easier. So hopefully parking will become a, a priority for, for the city, city council, and, and the politics of the city in the future. One big reason why we're here, we try and uh, uh, keep what's current with the, the styles in, in today's world. We always match prices. Uh, today the internet's a big thing, but we always match everybody's price, no matter what, what the price may be. Well, we're there for you, so we give you that service. And you'll never get the advice, information, and guidance that you get here. Uh, there, there's fitting points that we have that nobody else will take the time to do. And our people are here for uh, 20, 30 years. And I see a lot of your styles of the shoes are specifically made for you. We do for a lot. The store. Of, we do. We do a lot of designing for companies that uh, have an agreement with us that, that will keep it just for us in the area. And then the previous or in the next season, rather, they can then distribute them to other people in the area competitors. But uh, a lot of designs you see are made just for the store. But uh, it, it keeps us fresh, unique, and different than anybody else. Historical societies job is an important one in that it keeps the image and, and memory of Beverly Hills alive that people don't realize had actually occurred. That they, they can see pictures and see photographs and see uh, or hear different stories and memories from people that throughout the years that, that you keep alive that otherwise would probably just disintegrate in, in, into, the, into the sand and, and no one would know about. So it's important that you bring these stories down it's kind of like when you talk to your parents and grandparents and they tell you stories about when they were growing up and you get an idea of what it was like. So the people today and, and the children of today and even the young adults of today don't have an idea of what Beverly Hills is like but what you do are keep those memories and thoughts alive on film, not only in the stories but in the pictures that, that you can provide and, and, and the, the essence of what the city is and was and that's real important.